Hi, this is the Jacobitz Learning Group. Thank you for watching Alphabet. Remember in the last video, we did talk about Andy, the ant, met Danny, the dog. And remember our sounds, Danny, ah, ah, short A, Danny jumped off, short O, log. So you have two here, I'm gonna draw the colors, two red, call these cognates because they're sounds of each other. And this one is here, short A, with Andy, Aunt, Danny, and here's dog here. And try to remember there's a vowel in front of each sound. So we were here where Danny jumped off the log by Andy. I don't need more candy. I have to. I have to go to town. Ow. This, these two together are actually a diphthong. Diphthong. O W. So yeah, bye, Danny. I'll see you around. Maybe I'll see you in town. And then you have your short vowel again here. Andy told Danny. So you have A here and short A here. Okay, those are our sounds. Let's move on. So let's try to see if we can't fill in some of the words that go here. And let's just think what we could say here. Andy and Danny like candy. So that's L, long I, K, E. They eat. Take it here, from here. You know what they eat. They eat candy. C, short A, A, N, D, Y. And talk while they walk. If you don't know how to spell talk here, you have walk here in front of you, W-A-L-K. So you go talk, T A. L K and try to pick up your clues okay try to think about how you can spell things even if you don't know how to spell them already I'm going to make this a a little bit better drawn remember short a can be drawn several ways it can be drawn around here with a circle or it can just be drawn circle step talk while they walk they like candy and they sit on a, well, what were they sitting on in the other page? I believe they were sitting on a log. So you write like here. So you get used to the sound. Make sure you dot your eyes. Some teachers don't mind, some teachers do. They like candy and they sit on a log. And you should try to get them on the lines. I'm going to erase here with the cell. Let me do it better. And we're going to go back. L-O-G. Okay, short O. So here it is again. The log is made of wood. Okay, so even if you didn't know, you could take a guess. They sit on a log. The two of them together don't sit on another dog. So you have to take your choices. Okay, Andy and Danny like candy. There you have it. L-I-K-E, L-I-K-E. L-I-K-E. They eat candy canes. They eat candy canes while they sit on a log. L. O. G. Repetition, repetition. Now they see another dog. How do you know they see another dog? Because this dog wasn't in the original part of the story. The dog does not look like Andy. D O G. So you have it several times, so you learn how to spell, and you look at L O G here and D O G here and get the sound. L O G. Log. L O G. Short sounds. And here it is here, only with a D. D. 
a a g dog. The dog does not like candy, but he likes Andy. Hey, Andy, why, or was it, oops, my mistake, it was candy. So let's erase that, because we had that here, they eat candy canes, it was bad, my bad, but it just shows we all make mistakes. He likes candy. Let's see if that fits. That fits. C-A-N-D-Y. I'm going to make my letters better over here. And so we can move on. Let's read the story very quickly. Andy and Candy. I'm sorry. Start again. Andy and Danny like candy. So if you spell Andy right, you spell Danny somewhat right, you should get candy because candy is Andy with a C. They eat candy and talk while they walk. They like candy and they sit on a log. The log is made of wood. Andy and Danny like candy. They eat candy canes. They eat candy canes while they sit on a log. Now they see another dog. The dog does not like Andy, but he likes candy. We move on. Danny had to go to, do you remember where Danny had to go? What's this place called? Well, it's a city somewhere in England, but it doesn't matter because it is a town. So we go t ow sound it out. I'm sorry, I made that much too big. Uh, let me try to erase it. Town, t-ow-n like buh, bruh, brown, but this is town, T-O-W-N. He said, hey, Andy, I'll see you around in town. I have to go. The other, what is this here? This is a dog. So we just did those on the other slide, so we should know. D-O-G. Sorry about that, I didn't do a loop. Right. It's the dog's name was Sandy. We'll get into the apostrophes later, but right now, the dog's name was Sandy. Sandy liked candy. Andy gave Sandy a, what you give him? Candy cane. So let's try candy. C A N. D, Y. Don't think you are candy. There we go. It's too small. Okay, so candy. Sandy and Danny ate candy canes. They eat candy canes while they sit on a, what is this, guys? Say it out to yourself. Log. La og. If you don't remember, go to the next slide and see how it's spelled. Next to the log, there was a dog. Now, why aren't we saying there was an ant? Because whenever you have a short vowel, ant, you have to put an in front of it and not a. Uh. So there was a dog. Andy and Candy both have to go to where? Where's this place? Town. So you get more practice spelling it. T -a -n. Great job. Let's move on. But before we do, let's read it. Danny had to go to town. He said, Andy, I'll see you around in town. I have to go. 
The other dog's name was Sandy. Sandy liked candy. Andy gave Sandy a candy cane. Sandy and Dandy ate candy canes. They ate candy canes while sitting on a log. Next to the log, there was a dog. Andy and Sandy both have to go to town. Okay, let's try some math. That way you get math and reading and spelling. So let's see if we can do this. How many canes, candy canes, are there in, in this picture? We're not looking at the total. We're just looking at the first number and the first set of numbers it says here. So it's five. So let's go ahead and write five. And if you want to spell it out, five. F-I-V-E. Okay, add five more candy canes, and this is which number? So five, one, two, three, four, five would be 10. And if you guessed correctly, you were right, 10. And let's make our N a little bit better. But you know, t e n t n ten. The only other ten is a tin can, and that's a different spelling. Now, if you want to be really adventurous, multiply the number of candy canes by five. So that would be ten by five, which would be fifty. And you're multiplying the current number and not the old number, so your answer here is D. Subtract so twelve candy canes from this picture, how much is this? So now you have to count all these at the bottom. So let's start here, one. So we don't get confused, let's write here two. This is three. Uh -oh. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So did I count right or am I wrong? Count behind me, guys. Make sure I'm correct. So let's try it from this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So your math is going to look like this. 28 minus 12. It's two columns, guys. And take your hands out and count eight and take two off. And that's going to leave you with one whole hand plus one on the other hand, so that's six. Count backwards. Seven, six. And two minus one is 16. And if you think your math is off, you just go 16 plus 12. And that should come out to 28. Okay. Ooh, that looks awful. I'm going to change it. Uh, oops. So your math is so far so good. If not, try to look at this slide. Now, uh, we subtracted 12, so that would leave us with 16. So let's write this here on this line so that we know we can move on. Add five candy canes to this picture, and how much is this? Here's your math here, 16 plus 5. If you're good at doing mental math and doing it in your head, 6 and 5 is what? 11. Little 2 up here, add 1 and 1 is 2. 21. How do you know you're correct? If you count on your hands, you know you got it correctly. How else? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, is 5. 
And so you can count on your hands or you can also count here and start here at 16 and then add these five, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Hope you had a great time. See us on the next video.